want to ter frighten an African, just tell, tell them I'll beat you. In normal English, that is method that I will dress myself if they are trying to remove my, 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 my dresses on me. I feel like grabbing that man and destroying him to pieces. Guide me all the great Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> It has been a week of ups and downs in which the KCC executive director again from CC resigned. Sikumoja peke otaona Jennifer anafunga muziko na kurudi nyumbani. Siku moja peke utaona Jennifer anafunga muzigo na kurudi msituni. While some politicians are happy about her resignation, some of us are going to miss her. Now again I'm here to witness and celebrate the crumbling of the Jennifer Empire. The empire which was seen to be cast in stone built out of concrete and mortar. It has collapsed on its own weight like a pack of cards. You have been an icon in Kampala. Me, I call you Mama Kampala. But we wish you well. However, the question as to why you resigned would remain. She sees danger. Eminent danger is coming. Eminent trouble. But Munyagwa, which danger did Jennifer foresee? Right on Remonanda Mafab is in charge of park. I'm in charge of Kosasi. She sees danger. Eminent danger is coming. Eminent trouble. But you should know Mrs. is a born again Christian. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those are two umbrellas where, where she has always hidden. It is even good she resigned. She has written the longest resignation letter since World War One. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> 21 pages, <laughs> Dr. Victoria Sektoreko, I think this man are just again a hard working woman. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I thank you, and I fully agree with you. And that is the reason you will find few men everywhere. Even this conference where you are, they are no women. Just look around. I'm extremely angry as I stand here. Honestly, Minister of Finance, everybody who is sponsoring this meeting, where are the women? How, no, no, wait, why should you only be on this side? Where are the women on that side? They undermine women. And, and we are wondering why business is not working. <laughs> yes, Mama Victoria, business cannot move without women. Mr. Peter Angatagize, we are friends. But I'm very annoyed and it will not end here. Even if you buy me a beer, we are going to carry forward until next year's meeting when we have 50-50. I think Victoria is right. It's very right. The women are not part of this story yet. We think they are, but they are not. I suggest we should have more women in the cabinet, Mr. Karuhanga. Ours is full of political people and um, former army people. But Eli... Haven't you ever been part of cabinet before? I've never had an invitation to cabinet. I have been to cabinet library. Really? You have only stopped at the cabinet library? Sad. Is it possible that I have lived all these years in government and I've never entered a cabinet room? I am going to advocate for you to be appointed a minister such that you can enter the cabinet room this year. Thank you so much. I listened to you last night on TV. And I've listened to you this morning. Continue listening. So, what other problem can I talk about on TV? Problem we have here is called fear. There is so much fear in Uganda. Sure. They fear to pass anything. They just say, refer to the minister. Refer to the PS. The PS says, refer to the minister. And the minister refers to who? The minister says, refer to the vice president, the prime minister. And then the Prime Minister? The Prime Minister says refer to the President. I think the President has nobody to refer to. The President says refer to the people. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs>
bye bye Karuhanga. Let me check on the hot Shemano's election. I think the best dancer will win this election. <laughs> Tanga Odoi once said the NRM Secretary General is the only man in NRM who knows how to dance and mobilize. Now he is also here dancing for votes. <laughs> But can you dance better than Dr. Vesige? Agnes Nandutu, point blank.